hey guys welcome back to yet another video so in this video guys here we have a smudge up galaxy s7 edge here with a very terrible shadow at the display you can see the keyboard and some whatsapp whatever it is and in this video i'm gonna show you guys something that used to be impossible all right used to be impossible but i found a way all right i found my own tricks and now it's possible in this video i'm gonna show you guys how you guys can downgrade your galaxy s7 s7 edge i think it will work on s8 s8 plus s9 with the knox feature like the s6 s7 the s8 you can downgrade these phones back to any version that you want stock samsung firmware all right so for example the s6 you can downgrade maybe to android 5 s7 s7 edge i will show you guys this video we're gonna downgrade all the way uh android 8.0 all right this is the last stock uh, samsung s7 edge firmware all the way back to the original firmware which is android 6.0.1 so why is this thing is it possible well because every time you try to downgrade these phones like the s6 the s7 via odin even via all the four files from odin you will keep getting the same error error and error like this with this trick that i found we are able to do that we are finally able to install the original firmware android on this phone all right so in this video i'm gonna show you guys the s7 edge but it will work i say it will work on the i think it will work on the s6 s7 s7 edge s8 s8 plus and i don't know but s9 s9 plus so without any further ado you guys get the point hopefully let's go to the video shall we okay guys so the things that we need is number one as you can see from my desktop is a windows computer right and second of all the second thing that we need is of course the firmware that you guys want to downgrade so for example i want to downgrade my galaxy s7 edge mine is the g935 fd you guys could be different so you just go to look at your settings about phone and find out which uh, version of your phone is and then go to this website right somefw.com to download a firmware for your phone all right so mine is g935f and you can see there s7 edge fd mine's a dual sim model here and then you can see your device s7 edge and then you're gonna scroll down here and then you see your region all right so make sure it is the one that is the same one as your the country as you're living in or the phone previous version is so this, i bought this phone in malaysia here and it's running the malaysian firmware here so i'm gonna download the malaysian one here and then we're gonna just gonna as you can see there we got all the full files here the full file means is when all you need you can download the bl ap csc and home csc they all got the four files so not only one ap files and i'm gonna download the latest android 6 one as you can see there marshmallow 6.0.1 all right you see you guys can download try new gut too so let's go ahead and download 6.0.1 here and there you go you guys can do, go and download it by yourself right here without any speed cap all right that's very good now like i said in the beginning you guys cannot just flash like this because it will come up with an error but not right now thanks to this app is called Classy Kitchen by Android Dev here. So thank you, big thank you to Android Dev for creating this uh, this tool here. So yes, guys, you can create your own custom ROM, quote unquote, with this application. You guys can customize this Samsung firmware that we just download. So with Classy Kitchen here, we can do a lot of things. What we'll show you guys later on. So all you have to do here is just scroll down here and find a download. Now you can download the free version, it's okay, alright, so download the free version right here. And the next thing is Twerp, because yes, we are not restoring via Odin, we are restoring via Twerp. We are using a custom recovery. We are not gonna use the latest version of Twerp. So let me go to devices here. Now, like I said earlier here, we are not gonna download the latest version. Alright, uh, at least for the S7 or S7 Edge, I don't know about other devices, but I tried it with my S7 Edge. Let us twerp nada. So we're gonna use twerpo version 3.11. All right, it has to be this version, right? 3.11. So make sure you download the tar file so later on we can flash it with Odin. All right, and also I will link Odin version in the description down below as well. Okay, guys, so here's the two things that we need right now. We don't have to touch our phone. Only thing that we need right now is to make the recipe. All right, we are in the kitchen, just like the app the classic kitchen so just like a normal kitchen you know we have to cook the firmware in order to make it work so just do as i show you guys right here i created a folder with these two things in the uh, folder here now we're gonna do 
is we're gonna go ahead and extract actually how do you say the firmware that we just downloaded okay so let's open it up here as you can see here all full files i think usually the only one is this one a piece because it is the biggest one actually four gigabytes we're gonna go ahead and extract our classic kitchen here to a folder here i'm going to double click it let it load for a moment here guys all right our kitchen then we're gonna build our custom rom so we can flash with warp back to our desired firmware what we're gonna do here is we're going to click on create new project here we're gonna click on from our pc and we're gonna make it directed to the uh, firmware here as you can see here all the all the things we're just gonna press on Control a so it selects all the thing here and hit on open and write a name for your project okay so you can see there project creation finished successfully so first thing that we're gonna do is gonna click on rom utilities you can see here we got all the things all the things that we can customize so what i did is first off click on dodex rom as you can see here the, the, the uh, dodex status is still odex what well, uh, click on dodex rom the dodex rom if you want to process rom rom developers just click yes oh yeah make sure you have java installed already have mine installed but if you have not yet if you guys don't have it installed Make sure to download it from jaffa.com. You can just search Google and it will install. And you can go back to Classic Kitchen, click on the Odex, and it will work. All right. Okay, guys, so you can see we are finishing deodexing and aligning all the apps yes all the stock application the samsung apps the google apps now we're gonna hit on deep load so we're gonna deep load the rom click on kitchen list built in so like removing some of the bloatwares here now we're gonna hit on one of the important things which is the nox rom hit that baby up all right there we go we're gonna hit on add remove pc box okay next we're gonna hit on kernel utilities all right we're gonna click on remove dm verity force inscription here next we'll hit on meta nnf utilities and click on rebuild meta nf installer here what do you want to do we're gonna hit on remove i mean you guys can save it but we can redownload it later on again anyway so all right now here we are the final things here hit on project utilities and now we're gonna save the rom as a system new dot dot rom all right so we're gonna hit this this one here build system dot new dot dot rom for recovery because like i said here we're gonna flash this uh firmware with twerp so we're gonna hit on that one you want to zip align the rom we're gonna hit on yes all right so we built our rom here now let's test out if our food is good or no so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna turn on the phone here Okay, turn off the phone. All right, now once the phone turned off here, we're gonna press on the power, volume down, and home button at the same time here. So power, volume down, and home button. Press them all together right here. Can you see this baby up? Hit on volume up to continue, and here we are on download mode. Now, if you guys are wondering, yes, oh, we got a line there. <laughs> My Nox has been tripped, but don't worry, it will work like nothing happened. All right, as you can see there, the shadow of this one is very heavy, yeah? wipe out our ikea cable not sponsored of course all right so this is the only thing i'm gonna use here version 3.13.3 .3, a newer version than that should work just fine here so i will open up my odin here you can see there the id com tab is blue and that's because this apps and drivers needs to be installed which i think you guys sh should already be installing it before right so we're gonna flash our twerp 3.11 here so we we'll click on ap and make sure here click on torp 3.11 all right for your phone mine is the hero 2 lte uh s7 dash dual sim exodus there we go 3.11 hit open and hit on start but i'm gonna turn on turn off actually auto reboot because we're gonna go and go to the torpo after this hit on start and recovery bam reset pass we're good to go okay now we're gonna hit on all buttons here so all the buttons to so the phone resets we're pressing all buttons here so the phone resets pressing all buttons to so the phone resets here so the phone resets and keep and then let go the volume down button so it's just pressing the volume up button here like so power volume up and the home button and we now should be in twerpo are we yes we are 3.110 now here we are back at our classic kitchen folder here that we extracted here so we got three uh more folders here now we're gonna go ahead and go to output here as you can see here this is the firmware that we just created now for a size difference here so let's do a quick comparison with the size here this is the stock rom without any deep loading denouncing whatever 2.07 gigabyte our customized firmware 
1.17 so around 900 megabytes shrinkage in size all right remember the file is at your classic kitchen uh, extracted folder go to your output and there is your rom right there right so go ahead and copy that to your phone okay so i copied the rom here to my sd card here now we're gonna go ahead and wipe entirely wipe the phone here by going here for my data yes you know yes you can see all those red lines will be gone once we formatted the data here so make sure again that everything that you have on your phone back it up it's not too late to say that am I? <laughs> advanced wipe delphic system data internal storage we're going to wipe them all in the cache swipe to wipe head home install select storage micro sd card which what i had to put my rom on this is the one that i use s7 what is it s7 marshmallow test one all right so let's see can we do this swipe to confirm flash and there you go installing s7 marshmallow rom started okay the flashing is completed i just charged the phone because i forgot i got 14 percent left so it's successfully installed here again 6.0.1 stock touch wish marshmallow let's click on web cache and delphic make sure to clean all the things and hit reboot system do not install and we will now see a magic that we have never seen in years of trying to downgrade these Samsung phones thanks to the binary issues, the knocks, it boots. Look at that, it boots. Ladies and gentlemen, it boots. You never see this in real life, huh? With with Odin, huh? it will never work with Odin. But with Crazy Kitchen and a little bit of customization, we successfully got Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow booting on this Galaxy S7 Edge in 2023. Yes, sir. look at this. Everything is working. Let me switch the language real quick, yo. And you can see SIM card works. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna set this baby up. And here we go, guys. In three, two, one. Eh? Eh? Oh ho ho! Look at that, guys. The S7 Edge is back to its original firmware in 2023 after the, how do you say, the Oreo update here. You can see there the original UI and everything. Let's go to settings here. Scroll down about device. Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge 935 FD 6.0.1. You can see there, sound is working. Uh, camera is also uh, working here. Okay, there, camera works. It's shooting at the 12 megapixels. You can see here, all the old stuff, man. You cannot do this with Odin. Now, with our custom ROM, a custom stock rom there we go and that's what word that i've been trying to find in this video custom stock rom that we created with classic kitchen we can now downgrade samsung phones from their or less firmware to their original firmware the old lock screen let's see the uh i think we got an older charging animation too remember this one guys oh look at that it just poof, exploded like that like the note 7. oh wait i forgot Ah yes, what a rare sight in 2023, seeing these two phones on their original firmware. <laughs> so you can see uh, how they changed the UI in the Grace UX, we got a blue light filter here, hold on. So you can see uh, how they changed the UI with the Grace UX and the S7 UI. It's only arriving with the Note 7 and a J2 Prime, the Samsung Galaxy J2 Prime. But yeah, let's do it here, you can see there, the pull down is also different from the Grease UX on the Note 7 too. So they change up some stuff from the uh, S7 Edge or the S7 UI to the Note 7 is. So there you go guys, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys can finally achieve your dreams of downloading your Samsung phones back to the original firmware. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.